Hey there, welcome to Mixed Number Village. It's winter time here, and as you can see, my friend Mr. Robot is pretty cold and wants to go inside. While we warm up, why don't you guys learn about adding mixed numbers? Here is an interesting problem. Two and two fifths plus one and three fifths. Do these numbers look funny to you? They are called mixed numbers. Do you know why? A mixed number is comprised of a whole number and a fractional number. Let's take a look at two and two fifths. The two means we have two whole units. This is the whole number. The two fifths means we have part of a whole. This is the fraction. In the fraction two fifths, we have two parts of a whole that is split into five equal pieces. Now let's look at one and three fifths. In the mixed number one and three fifths, we have one whole and three parts out of five equal parts. See how the shaded regions represent both mixed numbers? To add these mixed numbers, we first start by adding the whole numbers together. Two plus one is three. Now we can start adding the fractions together. You may have learned this already, but to review, when adding fractions, you need to have the same denominator, which is the bottom number in the fraction. All our problems today have the same denominator, so that will make it easier. We add the numerators or the top numbers together in the fractions. So we add two fifths plus three fifths equals five fifths, or one whole. All together we have four wholes. So the answer to two and two fifths plus one and three fifths is four. Awesome. Are you ready to try another problem? Great. Let's add five and three fourths plus one and two fourths. We can use circles to represent these mixed numbers. Five and three fourths can be modeled with five whole circles and one circle with three of four equal pieces shaded. That is cool. Now we can model the other mixed number. One and two fourths is one whole circle and another with two of four equal pieces shaded. How many whole circles do we have all together? That's right, six. Five plus one is six. Now let's add the fractional pieces. If I take one fourth from the bottom fraction and add it to the top fraction, we fill in one whole circle. We still have one fourth shaded left over in the bottom fraction circle. This means three fourths plus two fourths equals one and one fourth. Altogether, we have seven whole circles and one fourth of a circle. We can write this as seven and one fourth. Are you ready to try a problem without using pictures to help us solve it? Great, let's try it. The problem is two and two sixths plus three and three sixths. That's a mouthful. We need to rewrite the mixed numbers by showing addition of the whole numbers and addition of the fractions. Okay, now we add the whole numbers first. Two plus three is five. Now we add the fractions, which have the same denominator, so we are good to start. Let's add the numerators of the fractions. Two plus three is five, all over six. Five plus five six is five and five sixths. We are done and have our answer. Two and two sixths plus three and three sixths is five and five sixths. We just added two mixed numbers without the use of any models. You guys did amazing. Adding mixed numbers is not as hard as it looks. It just takes practice. Add the whole numbers together first, then the fractions. Great job, guys. Hey guys, I am up here. I was climbing the tree to decorate it, but I think I am stuck. Mr. Robot, can you help me? Oof. That was not the kind of help I was looking for. See you guys later. Goodbye. Hey guys, you have a few options here. 
If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose, uh-oh.